Hey, welcome back to C5 Basics. You know what? After putting an enormous amount of work in your website, wouldn't you like to know, I mean really know, how many people visit your site and more importantly, how do they interact with it? Having access to these details not only validates all your hard work, but gives you insights needed to bring your website to the next level. Now on the Concrete 5 dashboard, you'll see that there's an area for statistics. And on another part of the dashboard, you can even enable advanced statistics. But you know, what we have built into the site give a very narrow picture of what's really going on. So in this particular case, I strongly recommend that you use outside analytics. I use Google Analytics on many of my sites and I'm quite happy with the results. So here's how we're going to first off get access to Google Analytics and then secondly how to install them on your site properly. If you type into your browser google.com slash analytics it'll bring you to the welcome page for this particular service. If you already have a Gmail or some type of Google account, all you need to do at this point is log in. If you don't have a Gmail or a Google account, this is the time that here, rather than signing in, you can now create an account. When you click Create an Account, you're taken to the following page. This is very straightforward. I put in my name. I chose a username. I've got C5 training demo at gmail.com. I think it's appropriate for this lesson. I've created a password. I made up a birth date and a phone number for this instant. My email should they need to access or should I need to have my forgotten password sent to me. It can be done there. Now, let's prove that I'm not a robot. And I'll type in the text that I see. My location is in the United States and I agree to Google's Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. If you have not read the Terms of Service and Privacy Policy, please take a few minutes of your time in order to read over them. Fine. I'm currently logged in and once again I'll go to the Analytics page. Now that I'm signed in with a Google account, we go to the Google Analytics page again, and now I'm prompted to access analytics. One more sign in just to show that you are willing to utilize their service. I'll sign up quickly. As you can see, once I've clicked sign in, it's all done automatically for me. Now, what would I like to track? I'll choose website. The tracking method, let's get the tracking ID. So the account name is the website name is C5 sample site which also corresponds with the site's URL. c5samplesite.com. The industry, but you know what? Hobby site for me today. And I'd like my tracking to be central time. Should you choose to share your data with Google and with other resources, here's where you can select that. I encourage it if you're new to the system, they can often provide you with tips. Uh, for the sake of brevity and privacy, if you choose not to, just untick these boxes. Now I'll we'll ask it to get us a tracking ID. Again, we have a terms of service. Read them if you're not familiar with them.
and now I have my brand new tracking page set up however we need to add tracking code so you scroll down the page you'll see that this is your tracking code copy and paste it and it says to copy and paste into every page you want to track but there's an easier way and here's how we do it select this entire script control C will copy it return to your website and go to systems and settings on systems and settings we can now select tracking codes and here in the tracking code box Control V will paste it right in place. Now, any HTML you paste here will be inserted at either the bottom or top of every page in your website automatically. Now, there are reasons to place code in the footer, but in this instance, I recommend that you put it in the header and save it. You can now see that our tracking code settings updated successfully. It is as easy as that. We can return back to our analytics page just to verify it. And back on my Google Analytics page, I'm just going to go up and choose Reporting. Reporting is the page that you'll typically go to every time you now log into the analytics and it'll give you just a multitude of information having to do with visitors, their demographics, even real-time visiting. When someone's on the site, it will show up. You can find out where your visitors are coming from, what they're looking at, what browser they used, how long they spent on each page, whether they're a return visitor or not. If you can imagine analytic detail about your site, this is one of the tools that you can use in order to get it. Again, it's very easy. Open up a Google account. The email is the easiest to open up. Join Google Analytics in order to get your tracking code, which you just simply paste into your site and save. We'll go into more detail on how to utilize analytics in depth, but let's take the first step and that's getting you signed up. Hey, thanks for joining me on another session of C5 Basics. I'm Adrian Rick, your Concrete 5 Community Liaison with Arvex Web Hosting. If you have any questions about this presentation or would like to recommend another, please email me at adrian.rick at arvix.com.